We're asked to find a set with the least cardinality, meaning smallest possible size, that has both A and B as subsets. And then we're asked to determine the cardinality of the set. Let's begin by reviewing the definition of a subset. A is a subset of B, asserts that every element of A is also an element of B. So let's call the set we're looking for set C. We're looking for set C such that A is a subset of C and B is also a subset of C. Again, A is a subset of C and B is a subset of C, which means every element of A must be in C and every element of B must be in C. And since we're looking for the set with the least cardinality, set C is going to be equal to the union of A and B. The union of A and B is going to be the set with the least cardinality or smallest size where all the elements of A are in C and all the elements of B are in C. So again, set C is equal to A union B. A union B is the set containing all the elements that are in A or in B or in both. Or we can just think of combining the two sets into one without listing the duplicate elements more than once. A union B is the set containing the elements of five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Notice every element in A is in C, and every element of B is also in C. That would still be true if we added extra elements to set C, but then set C would not have the least possible cardinality. So again, the set with the least cardinality that has both A and B as subsets is set C which again is the set containing the elements of five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. And the cardinality of set C is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, because there are 14 elements in set C. I hope you found this helpful.